Hello everyone, it is Stephanie Pontu. This is the Vision Church Level 2 class. This is the class for Monday, May 11th. This is part one of our class for this date. Um, before we get started with the lesson, I want to let you know that we finished unit eight in the last class. I hope you are up to date on that. And you know, I like to celebrate whenever we finish a unit. So we just finished unit eight. We're about to start unit nine. Here comes our celebration. Can you hear that? All right. All right, awesome. So that's our celebration for finishing Unit 8, and we're about to start Unit 9. But before we get started on Unit 9, let me assign some homework to finish out the homework in Unit 8. I forgot to assign it in my last video, so I apologize for that. So the homework that I want you to do, let's see, I'm going to write it and then I'm going to erase it. Well, actually, no, I can write it like this. So the homework will be in your student workbook like it always is, and it'll be the last few pages, the last few pages to finish up um, unit, um, the, the homework pages in unit eight, okay? All right, so let me adjust my camera a little bit here so you can see me when I write. Okay, I think this is better. Okay, so the homework is, Pages 97 to 101 in the student workbook. Okay, can you read that? 97 to 101 in the student workbook. And that will allow us to finish up um, all the homework pages in Unit 8 so that we can start doing homework in our new Unit 9. Yay, we're in Unit 9. Okay. So I am using another new tool that my kids taught me. So don't pay attention to the picture yet. I wanna ask you some questions and just have some general conversation first. Okay, so in today's lesson, it's unit nine, page 110, but don't turn there yet. This lesson is about solving problems. Now we all have problems around the house, right? There's all kinds of problems we can have at home. Um, so I'm going to ask anyway, though, have you ever had a problem at your home or your apartment, wherever you live? And I'm sure everybody is saying yes. And I'm saying yes. In fact, last week I had a problem with my kid's bathroom. The tub was draining so slow that all the dirty water just kind of piled up around their ankles in the tub. So they had to stop using it and coming in my bathroom and using my shower. It took the plumber several days to get here, but I got it fixed. So that's what my problem was. So, but when something breaks, what do you do? When you have a problem at home, what do you do? Now there are things that you can do. You can try to fix it yourself, depending on what it is. Sometimes I do that. Usually I call somebody. You can ask your a family member if your husband or one of your children are handy and know how to fix things. You can ask them to fix it. If you have a neighbor or a relative that lives nearby that knows how to fix things, you could ask them. Or you could call a repair company to come out and fix it. So for me, since it was a problem in the bathroom with plumbing, I call the plumber. And he came and he was very nice. And he actually taught me some things. So the next time my sink or my shower won't drain properly, he told me some things that I can do myself, which will save us some money. So I'm really excited about that. And he showed me how to do it. I did it while he was here so I can make sure I was doing it right. 
So I was super happy. So those are just examples of the things that you can do when you have a problem at home. If it's a simple problem like the light bulb doesn't work, you know, we can get our kids to change the light bulb or we can do it ourselves or we can ask our husband, right? And that's a pretty easy fix, but a clogged toilet or a clogged sink, that's a little bit different and you probably are going to need to call somebody. Okay, so those are all just things that we can do to deal with problems. But now let's look at the picture on page 110. I also have that picture up on the screen. Yay, I learned a new tool uh, that's different than the last one I was using. That one was on my phone and I was having lots of problems with it. So this is an app on my um, software on my computer that I think is going to work better for me. So anyway, let's look at the picture here. Page 110, Unit 9. Daily Living. So look at this picture and uh, what do you see? What do you think they are? Are they, are, are they at the mom's office? No. They're probably at home, in their home or apartment, right? And what room are they in? You know how your home has different rooms. You have the bedroom, the living room, the den, the laundry room. Where are they? Yeah, looks like they're in the kitchen, right? And they have some stuff going on in that kitchen, don't they? Yeah. They've got a lot going on. So let's talk about some of the things that we see in this kitchen. So this is a family in this kitchen. All right. So this lady here in the suit is probably the mom, right? This is Stella. This is the mom. And how many children does Stella have? Yep, look like she's got three kids right here. Uh, what do we see in here? This is the kitchen light right here. This is the kitchen table. She's got four kitchen chairs. Remember in the last unit on furniture, there was different types of chairs. Well, actually, there's only three chairs there at the table. Um, these are kitchen chairs. Um, there's her purse. You got three book bags there. So one two, three. So each kid has a book bag. This is probably her daughter's jean jacket. There's still some breakfast dishes on the table. Um, there's the garbage can, window, purple curtains. These are the cabinet, the upper cabinet and the lower cabinet here. There's the dishwasher, the washer and the dryer. Okay. So that's pretty much what's going on in the, what's going on in that picture. Um, and some dirty dishes at the sink too. We got dirty dishes at the table and we got dirty dishes at the sink. Looks like her daughter Marisol is getting ready to wash them. And we've got dirty clothes sitting on the dryer in the laundry basket. That's what you call this basket, a laundry basket. And these are all her different detergents and things that she uses probably to wash clothes, right? All right, so I'm gonna ask you a few more questions about this picture. All right, so question one is, do you think there's a problem with the washing machine? Here's the washing machine right here. Do you think there's a problem? Yeah, probably, because there's bubbles coming out of the washing machine. See these bubbles right here? And little Pablo is playing in the bubbles, getting his school clothes all wet. Ah, oh, does Stella look happy? No, she looks quite distressed, doesn't she? Look at her face. Okay, so yeah, so there is definitely a problem with the washing machine. It has bubbles coming out of it. All right. Um, is water coming out of the garbage bag that her son is holding? Nope, no water coming out of the garbage bag. Look down here. Okay. All right. Are there dirty dishes in the sink? Here's the sink. Are there dirty dishes in the sink? No, there are not. She's holding dirty dishes, but there's nothing in the sink. So no dirty dishes in the sink. They're in her hand and on the table, but not in the sink. 
All right, let's see what else. Here is the dryer. Is the dryer door open? No, it's not. The dryer door is closed. All right. Do they need a new light bulb? No, it looks like it's working just fine. Is this a watch? This thing right here on the wall that tells you the time. Is that a watch? Nope, that is a clock. The thing that you wear on your arm to tell time, that's a watch. But this is a clock. All right. So that's what's going on. That's some of the different things we see in this picture here. All right. This is a family in the kitchen, probably in the morning. Mom's trying to go to work and there are lots of problems going on. Is there water coming out of the dishwasher? Yes, this is the dishwasher. Look, water right there and it's all over the floor. Oh my gosh, no wonder poor Stella's so stressed. I would be stressed too. Okay, so let's see. Exercise B, we saw exercise A, 1A. We looked at the picture. We talked about what we see. We see a big old mess, right? This whole picture is a big mess, all right? Point to the dishwasher right there. This is the dishwasher. Point to a leak, all right? Here's a leak right here coming out of the dishwasher. There's also bubbles leaking out of the washing machine. So bubbles leaking out of the washing machine, water leaking out of the dishwasher. All right, so a leak, a light bulb right here. There's the light bulb. A lock right there. There's the lock on the door. A dryer right there. There's the dryer. A garbage. So garbage, here is the garbage bag that he's holding. So that's the garbage in the bag. And here is the garbage can. Right, so here's the garbage can, and then this is the garbage itself that's inside the bag. All right, what else? A sink, there's the sink, and this thing right here is the faucet. The little thing up here that puts the water in the sink, that's the faucet, and this is the sink. All right, and a washing machine. Here's the washing machine with all the bubbles leaking out of it. And a few other things I wanted to point out to you. It's not in the list, but we've got a detergent up here, laundry detergent. Here's a laundry basket. This cup right here, this kind of cup is called a mug. M-U-G, a mug. And let's see what else. I think that's it. All right, so that's all that we see in this picture. Okay, so 1C. Look at the woman. What's she doing? Here's the woman, Stella, poor thing. What's she doing? She eating breakfast? No. She putting on makeup? No. She's on the phone, right? Yes, Stella's on the phone. Here's her purple phone right here in her hand, right there. All right. Now, who do you think Stella's talking to? You think she's just having a casual conversation with her mom? Oh, hi, mom. You want to have lunch today? No, probably not. Who is she talking to? She's probably talking to maybe her husband saying, honey, I need your help. Or she decided to go ahead and call maintenance if she lives in an apartment. Um, if she's at home, she's probably calling um, a appliance repair guy, right? Because the problem she's having is really not with the sink. She doesn't need a plumber because the problem is not with the sink itself. The dishwasher is leaking and the washing machine has bubbles coming out of it. So... She's probably on the phone with an appliance repair person. Remember we talked about appliances, the machines in your home that you use to do work? These are our appliances, the dishwasher and the washing machine and the dryer and the, the dishwasher and washing machine. Those two appliances are the ones that are not functioning properly. Okay. 
All right, so let's keep looking at this poor lady, Stella, and see what else is going on in this kitchen. All right, everyone. So let's continue on with um, page 110. We have talked about what's going on with poor Stella. We know she is on the phone trying to call for some help with all this stuff that all of these problems that she's got going on in her kitchen and this lesson is about solving problems right and she has quite a few problems to solve we talked about some of the things that she can do to solve them she could try to do it herself or she could call someone in the family call a repair person um the first thing i would be doing though would be trying to figure out how to shut the water off right because the water line is what feeds the dishwasher and the washing machine. So I'd be trying to figure out how to turn the water off until the repair person could get there. So she might need an appliance repair guy and a plumber. I don't know for sure, but that's who I would be calling for help. Or I'd call one of my handyman friends for some advice about what to do. All right, so before we finish up this page, Let's talk a little bit about um, Stella's children. <laughs> what are the children doing? Stella has little Pablo here. She has her oldest, Martin, and her daughter, Marisol. So what are the children doing in this picture? Um, Marisol is be actually being helpful, isn't she? Yeah, she's being very helpful. She is carrying the dishes to the sink, probably to wash them for her mom, which is very good. So she's carrying dishes to the sink. I'll just write down some of these. Marisol carrying dishes. To the sink and her oldest Martin he is looks like he's what taking out the trash for her another helpful child isn't that awesome so he is taking out the trash And ma'am, little guy there, Pablo, little Pablo here. Where is he? Right there. Little Pablo, what is he doing? He's not being very helpful, is he? <laughs> uh, he looks like he's probably, what, five or six? So he's just having fun doing what? Playing with the soap bubbles that are coming out of the washing machine, right? So little Pablo is playing with the soap bubbles. So that's what they're doing. And then mom is on the phone calling for help. All right. Uh, let's see. So that's all that's really going on. So there's a lot going on in this picture. Mom is trying to solve problems by calling for help. The two older children, they're solving problems too. They're helping get the dirty dishes out of the way and get the trash out. And then little Pablo is just having fun as little kids do. All right. So we have finished up this lesson, part one of our class for May 11th. And I will see you in the next lesson, my friends. Take care. Bye-bye. I hope you are all keeping up with the lessons. And don't forget, please, I'm going to ask everyone by name. Maria, Shelly, Liz, Bora, Inja, Ling, Xiaoran, Khan, Gabby, Fanny, Miwa, Joanna, Miri, Jeno, and Bang, if you're still with us. Please watch the videos, 
and give me a comment or a like or something just so that CPAX knows that you're watching, okay? I hope you guys are safe and well, and I will see you in part two of today's lesson. Bye. Bye. I miss you guys. Um.